if you're like me and you've, you, you know, you've got several batteries around, whether it's a lead acid battery or a LiFO battery like this, I have this J, JSD solar battery. It's a 12 volt, 100 amp, and I'm going to be using it for like trolling motor or like power in my band to run an inverter. And one thing I needed, I found out real quickly that you need a charger that's made for this type of battery. Do not use a lead acid type charger. So I just got this one in and I'm getting ready to show y'all how this thing will charge up. Let's just go over the box here real quick. It's a 12 volt, 24 volt, seven stage smart charger. It's uh, specifications, AC inputs, 100 or 240 volt. DC output is 12 volt, 10 amps, which is a lot. 24 volt at five amps. And the battery size will go anywhere from six amps to 180 amps. And I have a 100 amp here. So I am within that battery size. Um, it has a MCU control. It's got a temp detection, a repair mode, and a full protection. And this works on uh, batteries AGM, lead acid, and life PO4 batteries. Once I plug this thing in, you'll see how it lights up there and it's pretty self-explanatory. So I already, I actually already used this to charge up one of my other batteries to verify that it works. And this thing worked awesome. 100 amp hours. Y'all hear that? So right away, now notice it is not plugged in. So right away, what it's gonna do, it's in the repair function. And then to turn the modes, I'm gonna go, or actually, let me go ahead and plug this thing in. Okay, now that I'm plugged in, let me go through some of the features. So right here, it's doing like a repair, but we're not gonna repair it. There's the AGM battery. There's a car, which is a, you know, a lead acid battery, a motorcycle. And then this is what this is. So this is the LIFO, but this is, so let's tighten that up. So what this is, this is the, the Life PO4 battery. And you see what it's doing here, how much charging it's doing. This battery is at 20% charging and it's going up. It gives me a temperature gauge. It looks like I'm at 13.1 volts as far as like, and you can see how it's like going through the cycles here. I don't know if you can hear it in the camera, this has a fan. I hear it blowing. Keeps it cool. Car batteries, which is the gel, lead acid, wet, which is wet, de deep cycle, things like that. Motorcycle batteries, the um, Life PO4 batteries, and the repair. So what is the repair? So the repair is 16 hours, an advanced battery recovery mode for repairing, storing old idle batteries. Not all batteries can be recovered. So if it's an old battery, it's been sitting for a while, run this repair cycle on it, see what happens. LED for charging stages. You can see the charging stages here. Now this will come back when it's completely full. I have been using this. I use this on a trolling motor, so I know that it is, it is, it is down. I'm gonna let this run for a while, everybody, and then I'll come back when it's fully charged and we'll see what it does. So let's, um, Let's switch over to it fully charged now. Okay, everybody, here it is. It's the next day. I did have to move it because it started raining, so I had to move it inside the shed here. But here's what it does. When it quits, when it gets fully charged, it just goes to off. You can see I'm still on the LIFO charger there, and it's just blinking off, which gives it a full. So let me take it off completely, and let's see what it does. We'll change it. Let's go back to the LIFO. Now let's put it back on and see exactly what it does. Yeah, it just stays on off, which means that it's fully charged. Now let me grab the multimeter and see exactly what the, the power is in this, which technically a fully charged LIFO battery should be between 13.6 volts and 14. So let's take these off, then let's try it. Got the multimeter here, put it on DC, put one there. We are 13.99. It fully charged this thing up. So when I first put it on there, it did take a while, by the way. And I think the reason it does that, these LiFo batteries need to have a, a slow charge to them. So I don't know how long it took. I basically set it out here and then I went and did some other things and went to bed. So I really don't know how long it took. And now it's off. There it is, everybody. That's all I got today on the, you know, the 12 and 24 volt smart charger, 10 amp and five amp. See y'all in the next video.